here we're asked to multiply these rational expressions. So when you are given one rational expression, one fraction, and you're multiplying by something else, you want to make sure that something else is also a rational expression, is also a fraction. So our first step is to convert x minus 3 to a fraction. And we can change any number to a fraction by just dividing by 1. Now we're going to look at the numerator and the denominator of each of our fractions, the top and bottom of each fraction, and see if we can factor it any further. If we look at the first fraction, that denominator, x squared plus 3x minus 18, I can factor that further. What I'm doing is I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to be the last term, so multiply to be negative 18, and add to be the middle term, add to be 3. And so when I go through the different options, I realize it's positive 6 and negative 3. If I multiply 6 and 3, negative 3, I get negative 18. And if I add 6 and negative 3, I get positive 3. So I'm going to factor that to this. Now I'm going to look at my numerators and my denominators, the top and bottom of both of my fractions, and see if I can cancel anything out. Remember, if you have a number like x minus 4 and divided by x minus 4, anything divided by itself is 1. So if you have something in the numerator that's also in the denominator, know that you can cross them both off because anything divided by itself is 1. That fraction bar is like a division bar. So I notice there's an x minus 3 up in my numerator and an x minus 3 in my denominator. So I'm going to cancel those out because, again, that equals 1. And then take a look, see if there's anything else that is in the numerator and the denominator. No. So I can't cancel anything else out. Now I'm going to multiply across and see what's left. And so in my numerator, I just have a 2x. In my denominator, I have an x plus 6 times 1 which is x plus 6. So my answer is 2x divided by x plus 6.